this is uh, Sean with Mochi Bites, and I'm here with creator of the Glass Up, Francesco Jor. I just forgot it already. Sorry. What was it? Jartosio. Jartosio. Okay, and um, he's gonna tell us about uh, Glass Up. So I guess my first question would be, um, how did you uh, come up? What is your vision, and how did this idea come about? So the idea came simply because I had to grab my mobile and uh, read uh, emails and text messages and the Facebook updates and all these kind of things all the time and so I wanted a way to uh, do it uh, more automatically, more simply. I'm passionate about man-machine interaction and so I always uh, seek uh, ways of uh, simplifying my daily routines uh, practically. And so I thought of this, I thought that if I could see automatically the information on my glasses while I was doing anything else, it would make my life easier. Um, awesome. And you said that you worked with um, two other gentlemen mainly. Um, could you tell me about them and how, uh, what they bring to uh, Class Up? So when I uh, thought of uh, uh, making this kind of product, I uh, looked for someone who could help me, and one was uh, I needed an optical scientist, and I found Giovanni Tragnaghi, who had done the same kind of job for the helmets of the Air Force pilots, and so he had the knowledge, the technology uh, to, to implement it. And in fact, it was very useful because he identified immediately that we needed to have them uh, these information with a transparent background uh, so that... Uh, uh, it, you don't uh, need to look at the side because it would be uncomfortable. The other guy is a guy who, Andrea Telatina, has uh, uh, had uh, developed and industrialized a smartwatch and uh, so he had already the knowledge uh, because a smartwatch is very similar to a product. It is an extension of the mobile uh, the same way our eyeglasses are an extension of the mobile. Uh, very good. So. Um you said that it was, uh, I, mean, I guess the most difficult part was uh, putting that, those visuals into the, the lens for the, for the eye to see. Um, what, what were the, the difficulties there in, in developing this? I mean, I saw the video, there's a video now on YouTube um, of that, I guess, this first mode or the first version. Um, and ha how hard was it to make that happen? It was very, very difficult. We have worked a, a year and a half on that, practically, and uh, only a few days ago I have seen the first prototype working, and it is well, um, sort of the first uh, time you see something that you have ever always thought of. It is. Uh, because it is so near to the eye and uh, um, you, you need uh, the, uh, re not to have reflections, a number of problems that it is very difficult to, to solve. And in fact, uh, uh, that's why uh, nobody else is doing it, uh, even Google uh, is doing something that uh, obliges you to look at the side. Practically, it's, uh, the difference between our product and the other products is that uh, if you're, it's like going on a car. With the other products, you uh, see the messages as in the rear screen of, um, of the car, in the rear uh, mirror, and uh, with our product, it's like uh, seeing them on the windscreen. Yeah. Well, thank you for answering that question about Google because uh, I was going to ask you. I wasn't going to name them, but <laughs> you're, you're, it's obvious that people are going to make that comparison. Um, what are the other uh, pluses, I guess, um, uh, for people as, as to uh, the market goes? Well, uh, first of all, the prices will cost uh, half as much. We have a very focused vision. So Google does more things, uh, and particularly they send uh, photographs and uh, uh, videos, uh, uh, so it is made more for sharing. Our, our product is simply a tool to get information. So we have, we are very focused. We have, it is monochromatic, uh, a very simple resolution, 320 by 240, which is more than enough to read the text, uh, and so the batteries last more. So the development uh, of the electronics is easier, and so on. So uh, we see it uh, uh, less uh, as a toy and more as a uh, need, practically. <laughs> Well, that, that sounds great, and uh, in the video, the, you showed a number of ways information or different kinds of information that comes into you. Uh, what, what would you say are some of your favorite uh, features that, that you guys will be, uh, will, will be able to see if we use Class Up? 
there, there are wonderful things. We started with a simple idea of emails and text messages and then a whole lot of, um, of requests came and I currently I have every week uh, someone new asking for some new usages. The one I prefer is the um, deaf people who will be able to see the words of other people they are talking with. Also yesterday evening I received uh, an email from a mother of a, um, um, a little child uh, who wanted uh, glasses to do exactly this. But, uh, but then there are many, many uh, kind of uh, informations. You can see um, uh, the, the uh, information you need, uh, for instance, when you're at the movie, at the cinema, many other instances. Uh, I, I really that last one that you mentioned is one that I'm really looking forward to because um, as someone who likes foreign media, especially uh, Japanese media, uh, I always look at subtitles and uh, that, that would be an amazing if I could be able to just watch something without extra subtitles printed on. Exactly, and the fact that the, the beauty, one of the beauties of the project is that we have already customers waiting. We just need to have this product uh, ready, and uh, so also for the movies and for the um, theater, because it's always impossible to understand the words of the soprano, and <laughs> for the museums, uh, uh, we have already uh, these requests. And also, and not only you, you can see the translation also when you're talking with someone. So you're in a foreign country and you talk with a Japanese, and you can see what he's saying, which is, I mean, can be useful. That, that is amazing, and uh, that, that'll be uh, phenomenal. So um, I'm sure I have other questions that, that are, I just can't think of them right now, but when uh, can we expect this to be able to be purchased by the, the regular market? It, it will be February. We wanted to have it in autumn, but we won't be ready by then, we have re just realized. Because the, the, now the first prototype uh, has been working and we need about one month to um, uh, polish it. But then we will have to industrialize it, to produce it, to uh, uh, make uh, the, the certifications international, and so it takes a few months. So it will be ready. It will be on the market in February. Well, that's great news. Uh, I want to congratulate you. It, it looks like an amazing device, and I can't wait to get to see this, uh, what you have on the floor, this prototype. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Francesco. Thank you.